what's going on YouTube? Welcome to Post Cologne. Today we're taking a look at a new Armoff release from their Club de Nuit line, and it's iconic. So Club de Nuit Iconic, or Iconic Blue, is from the House of Armoff. It is an eau de parfum concentration, and you can pick this bad boy up for about $50 at Fragrance Buy. I will link down in the description if you decide you want to check this one out. Also have a coupon code, save yourself $5 off your first purchase at Fragrance Buy if you decide you want to shop with them. Box presentation on this, actually kind of nice. It's very simple front to it, and it does have that Club de Nuit rhinestone kind of dealy going on in the front. And it does have this kind of, I don't know, like wormhole geometric kind of circular pattern with a little bit of texture to it. So that is kind of like an embossed sort of feel to it. So kind of neat, all the necessaries on the bottom, but overall it's just kind of a plain cardboard box. I do like this bottle though. It is your traditional Club de Nuit style of bottle, but I don't know, there's something about this kind of blue with that pattern on the front, that kind of cylindrical wormhole style of geometric pattern that is quite nice. It is a fingerprint magnet for sure. It has those rhinestones, like I mentioned, on the cap, just like all the other Club de Nuit's. And the atomizer on this, a little bit better, but it's still an Armoff atomizer, so nothing to write home about. But overall presentation on this, do quite enjoy this one. So if you are wondering what Armoff's Club de Nuit iconic smells like, you have come to the right place, because I'm about to tell you. Some of the notes listed in this are mint, pink pepper, coriander, lemon, grapefruit, ginger, nutmeg, jasmine, melon, incense, amber, cedar, sandalwood, patchouli, and labdum. So there's a lot going on in this. And if those notes sound familiar, you are friggin' smart, because it is almost exactly like Blue de Chanel's Eau de Parfum note breakdown, according to Fragrantica, at least. So it's very, very close to Blue de Chanel's note breakdown, and I would have to say the scent profile is pretty close. I wouldn't say it's 100%, but I would say it's probably in that 80% range. This is very much a Blue de Chanel style of clone, and I really, really like this one. I'm not much of a kind of a blue generic designer style fragrance kind of guy, but Armoff did a really good job with this one, like a really good job with this one. It's got a nice freshness to it. It has this nice mintiness to it. The citruses that come through and just the right level of sweetness. A very kind of bright, clean, fresh shower jelly sort of vibe going on with this. As it starts to develop a little bit, you get a little bit more of the kind of like some spiciness that comes out. That aromatic nature kind of sticks to it, but it still maintains that, that really blue style of fragrance. It's really, really quite nice. Very mass appealing, very easy to wear. Just very bright. I just love the brightness of this. I love the mintiness that comes through with this. Just that it's it's not quite a sharpness necessarily, but it's just a very airy spiciness that comes through with it. I really, really like this. As this dries down, it gets a little bit more depth to it. It has some like nice earthy woods that come through, but those aromatics, all, that fresh shower gel kind of vibe still sits on top of the, like a little bit more of a kind of a masculine wood base. And overall, it's just a really enjoyable, mass appealing, pleasant style of fragrance. That's the easiest way to put this. Really, really enjoy this one. I think they did a fantastic job on this. Quality wise, this is really nice, very smooth, very, you know, there's no alcohol blast at the top that you kind of have to get through or anything like that. Opens up really nice, dries down very nice. And I think for $50, this the quality of this was very well done. I think Armoff did a fantastic job. Like I said, this is a pretty much a Blue de Chanel clone. I do think they did have, a little bit of a twist to it. Maybe they just didn't get the notes right, you know, or added too much of something, but it is very close and I think it's very well done, very enjoyable fragrance. So when it comes to the performance of our Moss Club de Nuit Iconic, really happy with the performance on this one. I've only had this new Club de Nuit line for less than a week now, but I've been wearing the crap out of these ones. Day and night, I've been wearing these, giving them a full test, like bedtime fragrances, daytime fragrances. I've been wearing these the whole time really to sink my teeth into this, and this is a great performer. Eight, 10 hours off of my skin, no problem. Get some on my clothes, I can probably push it out to that 12 hour mark. Awesome longevity on this. Projection on this for the first two hours is great. It does push out beyond an arm's length before it settles down a little bit closer to the skin. But like I said, the longevity on this, absolutely fantastic. Really pleased with the performance on this one. So overall, I'm giving this top marks. So when it comes to the where and when of Armas Club de Nuit Iconic, this is just a through and through casual, versatile style of fragrance. I definitely think this is a year round style of fragrance. You can wear this fall, spring, summer. I think even in the winter, it is the winter now in Canada where I'm at right now and I've been wearing this all week and this is doing fine in the winter. Maybe not the most appropriate time to wear it. It doesn't like push through the cold like some of the kind of like dark, heavier style of winter fragrances, but it does quite well. It does 
does push through. I can still get good whiffs of myself wearing this because the performance on this is so good, but definitely kind of a sp fall spring, like springtime, this is where this one I think is going to shine the most. It just has that, that clean, fresh, rejuvenating style of Centacord to it. So spring just fits that vibe. But like I said, you can pretty much wear this all year round. In terms of occasions, casual fragrance through and through. I think this is just perfect for running around every day, doing your errands, going to a lunch, hanging out with your girl. I think you probably get away with this on date nights because it does have that crowd pleasing, mass appeal designer style fragrance sort of vibe going on to it that you're not gonna offend anybody. It's gonna be very pleasant for pretty much everybody that you're around. So I think you can get away with this for date nights. Don't think you can dress this up necessarily. It does have that kind of, like I said, that fun, sort of youthful, out the shower, kind of clean sort of vibe going on to it. Doesn't necessarily speak to kind of like a fancy formal event necessarily, but you do youth, that's the kind of thing you want to do at your fancy dinners or your fancy operas, you go for it. But definitely a casual fragrance. I think you can pull this off on date nights and I think you can wear this all year round. So my overall thoughts on our Moss Club de Nuit Iconic. So I surprisingly really like this one. I am not a blue fragrance kind of guy. I am not really like a popular designer fragrance kind of guy. Like, the Sauvage, the Blue de Chanel, all that kind of stuff. I never really like got into them too much. I think part of it was just the price point. I just, they're a little bit out of reach for me in terms of like what I was willing to spend on a fragrance. But this for $50, I think if you're looking to kind of have that Blue de Chanel sort of experience, but you're on a budget, I think this is a great alternative to that. I think it just, it, the quality is there. It's so smooth. It just has that, like I said, that fresh, clean, bright, minty, masculine, shower jelly sort of vibe going on to it, that it's just, it just works through and through. And performance on this, I'm, I can't complain about that whatsoever. I get great performance. I think it's very versatile. And I think the scent accord on this, our moth knocked it out of the park with this one. So like I said, pleasantly surprised with this one. I'm definitely gonna be wearing this one year round, like I said. Awesome fragrance. I definitely think if you're looking for that kind of cheaper alternative to a popular designer fragrance, this might be the one for you. If you're looking for something a little bit more unique, artistic, stand apart from the crowd, this is not gonna get you there. Like I said, this is a very crowd pleasing, mass appealing designer style of fragrance clone, but overall, I think it's fantastic. And that's our Moffs Club de Nuit Iconic. And I wanna hear from you guys. What's one of your favorite designer clones? Comment down below, let me know. Love hearing different recommendations, like different variations of popular designers that are in clone forms that are like actually worth checking out. So go do that right now, comment down below. Appreciate you. And if you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit that like button. Don't forget to subscribe. Thanks so much for watching, and we'll see y'all next time.